So for my cybersecurity, how I got into it, uh, I started in the DOD environment and I uh, been doing this for four years now in the government environment. And I've been doing defensive blue team uh, positions for the last four years. What caught your attention about the CEH program? When uh, I was first getting into cybersecurity, uh, the first job opportunity I came upon was a job in Vicksburg, Mississippi, uh, working for the government there. And uh, <clears throat> they required a CEH certification for me to get the first job. Uh, this was after I was doing uh, a bunch of dead-end jobs and finally about to get into a position that was actually in my degree field for cybersecurity. So they uh, required the CEH and I looked up a, a school that was in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's called a CED Solutions. And they had an instructor, Eric Reed, with EC Council. And uh, it was a pretty amazing course, doing all everything hands-on, uh, seeing all the attacks live happening for yourself. And uh, this got me through to pass the certification test and got the certification within the week. It was a boot camp course. And uh, after that, I went to Vicksburg, Mississippi and started my career. How did the CEH benefit your career? So CEH got me started in the actual cybersecurity realm of jobs. And having this opened up so much opportunities to me working in cybersecurity to progress myself into better positions in cybersecurity um, in this field. So CEH, has definitely helped me a lot with uh, the knowledge and the capabilities hands-on uh, doing everything that I need for all these cybersecurity jobs that are out here, uh, especially on the blue team, lo looking for what you need to look for, uh, blocking attacks, detecting attacks. Um, I will CEH a lot. That's what got me into uh, this great career field. How recognized is the CEH in your organization and the industry? Everybody in my office has CEH working for the position that we have now. And CEH before at my old job was also uh, recognized. Everybody had CEH. Uh, CEH is definitely known by the government as one of the main certifications to get. Did the CEH help you to get a job or promotion? Yeah, it definitely did. Um, like I was saying before, um, my first job was in Vicksburg, Mississippi, and they required the CEH. And thankfully, when I took this course with Eric Reed at CED Solutions, uh, they gave me enough knowledge and hands-on experience to actually know what I was doing when I got to the new job and know that what they were talking about, um, keywords, um, just, uh, and also I needed a second certification while I was there. So that helped me get this second certification in which that would keep me there in that same position. Um, and I stayed there for two and a half years working at uh, one job. And for promotions, I mean, it definitely helped out. It got me more money each time that I've ever asked uh, in the past for raises. And just, there's nothing but good things from the certification. And there's uh, a great membership that comes with CEH. Also, you get to uh, use all the EC Council resources like Code Red, uh, keep your continued education going. Um, nothing but good things for this. 
Did the CEH help you give back to the community? CEH gave, gave me the opportunity to give back to the community by uh, teaching. I teach right now for the uh, University of Utah uh, Cybersecurity Bootcamp at Trilogy. And this is a, a way for me to give back to the community by um, teaching the new students, uh, the new people that are coming into the field about cybersecurity and get them ready to uh, fill holes in the workforce that we so badly need. We're, we don't have enough people to complete all the jobs that we have in cybersecurity right now in the government and the civilian uh, work world. Just not enough people, we need more people. So this is how I'm giving back to the community. What was your favorite part of the CEH program and why? Favorite part about the CEH program was most likely the class that I took with CED Solutions and the instructor, Eric Reed. Um, that was probably the best aspect for me as uh, doing everything hands-on and learning all the different things with your classmates and going over the things um, after class with them while we're back at the hotel just uh, made CEH even better for me um, knowing that there's a instructor that knows everything that you could ever possibly ask about this course or any of the aspects of cybersecurity was uh, my favorite aspect about it and the hands-on approach is definitely the way that I can learn uh, instead of just uh, staring at a board or PowerPoint trying to um, scrape something off for me to remember later. Um, definitely the CEH course is a great, great thing to have. Do you attribute any part of your success to AC Council? Yeah, I owe everything to EC Council. I mean, they got me into my dream job um, coming out of college. You know, I had a hard time uh, transitioning from the military. Uh, I was in the Coast Guard before and transitioning into school and then transitioning out of school into uh, dead end jobs and then uh, finding my my true job that I really wanted and uh, thanks to EC Council and their CEH certifications and their instructors uh, I got to be my dream um, job so they're doing great and uh, now with this Code Red stuff coming out and it's great having all these resources to have for uh, continue education and um, working on uh, CHFI right now, a certified hacking forensic investigator. So there's nothing but more and more things that you can learn from uh, EC Council. And looking forward to doing as much as I can of it. They're doing great. Thank you.